Creating tables. Tables are a useful way to organize your annotation text. You can find tables here in the annotation panel under the home tab. Here's the icon right here. Or we can go to the annotate tab, select that, come over here and there is a tables panel here. We can select table. Once we do that, we get this dialog box here where we can choose the table style, which we'll cover in a later section. Some insertion options where we can select from an empty table, select from a data link, or from an object data in the drawing. We can specify how we insert the table, either from a point or a window. I'll go ahead and leave mine as window right now. And as well as we can set up the column width, the columns themselves, data rows, row height, and choose some options from here as well. I'll leave all these set to the way they are now. Here's a preview as well, so if you make any changes, you can see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'll select my first point and drag out and select my second point. And I am brought to the header. So I can go ahead and give this table a head. We have the styles, formatting, paragraph, insert, spell check, tools, options, the simple text editor options that we've been using so far. I can finish giving this a header. And now if I press enter, that brings me to the line below. I can continue filling out this table. If I press tab, that moves me along towards the right. Again, enter makes me move down in the table. I can use my arrow keys to go up, right, left, and down among the cells. I can go ahead and select out of that. In the next section, we'll learn how to adjust the table styles, and that's what actually controls the way this looks.